Hello and welcome to another episode of Mimosa's How-To Videos with me, Dustin Stock. So today we're going to talk about antenna selection for the A5C radio. The A5C is a 4 port, 4x4 MIMO radio, so you have tons of choices out there, tons of selections. But today we're going to talk about three different ones. We've got the RF elements, we have the MTI, and we have the KP performance antennas. Right here we have two RF horn antennas. Uh, they're both two port antennas, so to maximize your output, you need two antennas connected to the A5C. Uh, the RF horns are meant for high noise environments, for high concentrations of customers. Uh, most people will actually deploy their RF element horns where they're not facing the same direction to get more coverage, but you miss that on the 3dB of beamforming. So what I recommend is pointing both of your horns in the same direction you don't have as big of a coverage area, but you get 3 dB extra beamforming on your C5 or C5C connecting to the A5C. Also, we have the MTI antenna. It's a specially designed four port antenna for the Mimosa A5C. Uh, it takes advantage of the 3 dB beamforming. Uh, this antenna and the KP antenna both, they're both uh, four port antennas, are designed for lower noise environments for longer range clients. Uh, I have clients that are deployed on MTI and C5C and KP and C5C antennas up to about 10 miles. Uh, depending on what kind of dish you have on the C5C, what kind of DBI, uh, you can go even further than that. We really need to talk about LMR cables here. Uh, a lot of guys are using real cheap RG58 cables. They're real lossy. Uh, the LMR200 are also pretty lossy, they're real thin. What we recommend here is the LMR400 cables. Uh, they're thicker, they're not super expensive, they're you know, on average about $15 a piece, but they're definitely worth the money. So if you need any help choosing your antennas, just contact us via chat, email or phone, and we'll be glad to get back with you and help you choose the correct solution for your issues. And that's it for this episode, we'll see you next time.